Hello, everyone. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Polling. No, it's not a new thing the British monarchy does to spice it up, shall we? It's something we use to determine where we are on the political landscape. Pollsters, not to be confused again with peggers. Andrew, mm, you enjoy this, really. Pollsters take a sample of the population and ask them questions. Who do you like in this election? Are you happy with the current president? Democrats failed. They're vicious, they're intolerant, and they are utterly corrupt. Biden. Biden. <laughs> and this goes all the way back to 1936, where Tom Dewey was announced as president when Roosevelt actually won. Let me explain to you how polls work. Now, the tried and tested uh, method uh, of a poll was to call on landlines using robocalls or, uh, uh, you know, uh, and landlines. But seriously, who has a landline? Grandmas, shut-ins, and hoarders. Hello, this is Mervyn. Democrats failed. Yes, I think Joe Biden is a demon. They're vicious. Can you come over and sit with me? I'm by myself. I love cheese. Half the polls use landlines. Google it. Uh, phones used to be attached to the wall, people. <laughs> Look it up. Oh, and some polls use 70% of landlines for their research. Not an accurate sample, really. Polls are bullshit. They're calling old people who think Tucker Carlson is a jaunty yacht commander and that the real men tan their backup singers. Young man, there's no need to feel down. I said young man. They aren't calling the poor, the minorities, or young people. You know, half the population. Some polls do use robocalls to a cell phone, except... There's an anti-robocall law. So polls are an accurate, random, vague, and always off between two and eight points. Yet, the news reports on them constantly because it's easy. But is it news or is it just a feedback loop skewing what people think using bullshit, unresearched, random information? Look, if you tell me the polls show people think the economy is bad, then you're going to think the economy is bad. And then when they call you and ask you what you think of the economy, you're going to say, well... I guess the economy is bad, according to the polls, which makes the poll reflect think the economy people think the bad. economy is bad. And then when they call you and ask you you're going to think the economy is bad. And then when they call you and ask you, 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 you what you think the economy, the economy, the economy is bad, when it's not, which then opens a wormhole to hell and the death of democracy. You can tell I hate polls and polling. I also hate reporters who report the polls. You know why? Here's why. A poll is not news. It's not journalism. Tell me the truth. Don't tell me what a bunch of randos. And by the way, polling is literal randos. Don't tell me what they think. Because here are the facts. Where we are since Biden took over. You ready? Biden, and this is backed up by facts, has the best growth rate since Clinton. In under two years, during which he enacted major pieces of legislation, such as the American Rescue Plan Act, the Infrastructure Investments and Job Act, and the Inflation Reduction Act. 220 million people are vaccinated. He expanded health care. And he did it. <laughs> while riding a hurricane shitstorm from a surge of migrants at the U.S. southern border to Russia's war against Ukraine, Saudi cutting oil production, a pandemic, and a country bitterly divided. Wages under Biden, people, have gone up 9%, 4.4% adjusted for inflation. Yeah, but Biden doesn't set the price for gas, milk, or eggs. Gas prices were 250 under Trump because we were locked in our houses and the world wasn't using gas, you morons. Now the world is working twice as hard because, again, we have the biggest and fastest growth since Clinton. Have I said that yet? 3.5% unemployment, 696,000 manufacturing jobs added since Joe took over. Trump lost 182,000 manufacturing jobs. If I'm elected president, you're going to have jobs coming to Syracuse, coming to New York, coming all over the country like never, ever, ever before. Remember that. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine on February 24th, gas prices shot up by a 148 per gallon. But yeah, yeah, gas prices are Biden's fault. Idiots. Weekly earnings went up 9% during Biden's first 20 months in office. Inflation rate went up that month. And I know inflation ate up, ate up part of that month to month, but still, wages are rising and have started to outpace inflation. Biden and the Democrats are killing it. They lifted us out of a once in a hundred year pandemic and they turned the economy so fast that you forgot how bad things were. The Democrats saved millions of lives and passed legislation that will continue to repair the damage done by pumpkin spice lard ass and the treasonous dipshits that tried to end democracy. And you got to be clear. 
I want all Americans to win and be successful. So stop listening to your feelings. These are facts I'm giving you, not polls. And to all of you in the news business, Jim Acosta, Anna Cabrera, Wolf Blitzer, Anderson Cooper, and the rest of you who lazily report feelings instead of facts, do me a favor. Go host a fucking reality show because you're not journalists. I'm Christopher Titus. And this is the Armageddon Update. You know what I need to do? I need to start my own new show. We do a daily news show that nobody will pay for and waste all our time and don't get anything done. But at least I'll give people the goddamn facts.